Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and support my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to make a simple chain stitch using acrylic fiber yarn. And here I am using 12 size uh, crochet hook which is 2.5 mm crochet hook so i would suggest you to use a hook which is uh, apt for the yarn you're trying let's get started uh, first take the yarn which is your uh, woolen thread and uh, take it around the index finger and see it, the, this will form an x mark so you have to take the working yarn which is the lengthier yarn this is the working yarn take that yarn and bring it into the loop we just formed using the index finger and then pull all the way till a knot is formed so this is an adjustable knot as you can see here you can just pull it adjust the size of the loop and then you can bring all the way to a small size so now insert the crochet hook into the loop we just formed this is the basic loop with which we are going to create the chain stitch now that a loop is formed hold that loop very tightly using your index and middle finger and then see the working thread which is the lengthier thread you have to put it around your index finger and keep adjusting as you can see it here now yarn over that is you have to put the crochet hook around the working thread and then gently pull that working yarn into the loop we just formed I repeat yarn over see yarn over the working thread and then bring the crochet hook along with the thread into the chain we just formed so this is creating another chain we have created two chains yarn over bring it into the loop to form another chain so this is how a chain is formed so to begin with if you are if you are struggling to bring the uh, yarn over thread into the loop what you can do is you can bring the loop as big as possible so that the yarn over step will be very easy for you and later you can adjust the size of the chain see if you if you keep moving your uh, needle and the index finger back and forth the size of the chain will be adjusted but if you are an absolute beginner you can just leave the size of the chain as such because this is just a learning step here I'm just trying to adjust the size of the chain so, yarn over pull through and then form a chain again yarn over pull through to form a chain so this comes uh, with practice definitely because uh, this is a coordination of both hands needle and the thread so uh, initially it might be little bit uh, uh, difficult if you are a beginner but uh, if you keep practicing it again and again you will get a hang of it and you will start liking it so here as you can see we have formed chain of same size and the beauty of uh, crocheting is you can revert the changes whatever you've done if you feel you have done a mistake at any step what you can do is you can just go and insert the crochet hook just before the step and then rem if you start pulling the working yarn all the work will be undone so this is how we can uh, undo a 
a mistake in crocheting so if you see this is the back side of the chain and uh, this is the front side of the chain so you can also re uh, learn the chain practice with a small strand of th thread you don't have to have a very big uh, yarn bundle to practice it so all you can do is you can uh, undo the work and start from the beginning I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, knot again so just taking the working yarn under the tail end of the yarn and then inserting into the loop we form using the index finger then we get an adjustable knot so here is another way of doing it uh, you have to take the crochet around the yarn and then bring it all the way down upside in an upside position and then make a knot so that's how I usually do uh, just yarn over and then bring the crochet hook upside down twist a bit and then pull through the chain a knot gets formed yarn over bring it down twist it yarn over and then pull through the loop so this is another way of doing it as a beginner you can try uh, different ways and see which way so suits you best or over the period of time you will figure it out what com what comes easy for you and you can adopt that method so this is all about uh, creating a chain stitch i hope you like this video and uh, do hit the like button if you really like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, to support my work thank you all and thanks for watching